some relief after the biggest attack on Jewish people since the Holocaust. In American terms, is akin to the uh, killing of Osama bin Laden. Hamas leader Yawa Sinwar was the mastermind of the deadly October 7th attacks. And, Israel says, he's dead. Killed by the IDF in southern Gaza. Omer is in the hands of ISIS Hamas terrorists. This time, the opportunity must be seized. All hostages must be released in one deal immediately. Hamas hasn't confirmed Sinwar's death, but almost immediately after reports began circulating, the families of the more than 100 hostages still in Gaza and many Israelis called on the government to take advantage. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says evil was dealt a blow and that Israel will continue in Gaza until the hostages are home. A former Israeli intelligence officer cautions things could get more difficult. We're dealing in a situation where we, it may be the case uh, that you have hostages that are scattered in different places that are being held by different people. Avi Melamed has hope, but also warns Hamas won't just vanish. It is possible that there will be leadership in Hamas that does not want to pursue uh, the continuation of the war, and that may change political dynamics in Israel as well. That includes Netanyahu and his far-right coalition members, this expert says. But Ned Lazarus tells Global News the forces still pushing for conflict may lose their sway. The U.S. again trying for peace. The world is a better place with Sinwar gone from it, and it gives us an opportunity that we didn't have as long as he still called the shots. If Sinwar was the key to Gaza, and Gaza the linchpin to the fighting with Hezbollah and Iran, then maybe the conflict could end. What is certain, Sinwar began the current fight that wrought horror, heartbreak, and claimed more than 43,000 lives across the region. The conflict has now claimed his, too. Nathaniel Dove, Global News.